Well, I keep highlighting it being absolute no doubt that illegal migration across from France via small boats is far worse this year than any year we've seen, including last year when, of course, 28,000 people came across. We're now looking already at more than 4,000 people coming across to the UK in 2012. Now, that is nearly four times the number for the same time last year. There's no wonder then that some of the forecasts we've seen for this year in terms of illegal migration across from France on small boats, you know, 60,000 plus, which, you know, is just crazy that the situation has been allowed to escalate to this sort of level. But look, the Nationality and Borders Bill is what Boris Johnson and Home Secretary Priti Patel, of course, have been pushing as a solution uh, to this, including things like offshore uh, processing. And of course, there was some talk, wasn't there, of a Conservative rebellion. In actual fact, uh, the rebellion was absolutely tiny. I believe it was just sort of two or three Conservative MPs who actually rebelled on this. So the Nationality and Borders Bill went through uh, with MPs again. Uh, the Lords, of course, had before had absolutely hammered it. Uh, but the Lords' amendments getting rejected. Well, it now seems that the Lords, and frankly, you know, I've talked about this before. I think it's ridiculous that we have an unelected House of Lords. If we're going to have another chamber there, I think it should be elected uh, by a proportional representation. And as viewers all know, I'm also someone who thinks when you've got a Northern Ireland Assembly, a Scottish Parliament and a Welsh Parliament, we should have an English Parliament. But look, Priti Patel said to be fearing now that Lords' uh, delaying tactics could actually still stop the Borders Bill, that Lords will continue to defy the Commons, that you'll see parliamentary ping pong and that the bill will be lost if it doesn't receive royal assent before early May. Patel would have to reintroduce it from scratch, delaying the measures from becoming law for at least another year. With a Home Office source quoted as saying, as we approach the end of this session, we can expect the Lordships to slow down and push as much government business as close to the wire as possible. There is a risk it could accidentally scupper the entire bill. Now, that would be, of course, absolutely outrageous, uh, given MPs have voted this through again. I think the whole system stinks, really, the fact that this is even a possibility. And, of course, given the fact you've got widespread British public support for a far tougher approach when it comes to illegal migration uh, from France. But look, guys, let me know what you make of this in the comments below. As ever, I will keep an eye on this. I will keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, thanks so much for watching.